So my girls had confirmed what I'd been scared to admit. Luca and I were out of sync. But thanks to Aaron and his impromptu outdoor movie night at Hawkins, I now had a super romantic setting to prove to everyone how goals Luca and I really were. Damn, Aaron really did it. Well, this is high key a very beautiful situation. Mm -hmm. I just wish I didn't have my toes out. We all do, man. Yeah, it's not bad. I love a softly lit ambiance. God, I agree. I agree with you completely since we're on the same page and all, you know? Right. Listen, this cooler feels like it's ugh, filled with severed heads. Where should we sit? In the oh, back. Front, in the back. I love the back, actually. I don't know why I said it. How about we sit right here? How you guys feeling tonight? <laughs> Welcome and thank you for coming out to Hawkins Hall's first edition of Cinema Petit Negro. Now, as the RA of Hawkins this year, I've made it my sole mission to elevate this place to new highs, you know? Like, just super high, unattainable highs. So, I got a bunch of dope stuff lined up for you guys. Honestly, we got barbecues, brunches, pool parties, pajama jams with like the different animals on them. It's gonna be crazy. Can I help you? No, we're being adorable. Don't fight it. Don't, don't fight it. Oh, my alignment's off right now. My chakras are unbalanced. Okay? Guys, tonight we got our hands on possibly the most modern, uplifting representation of our people in the medium. I'm talking about a black director. I'm talking about a black screenwriter. I'm talking about a sexy ass Lupita Nyong'o. I'm talking about a man whose future and his kingdom is stripped away from him by a seemingly unconquerable adversary. Oh, this is black superhero. So without further ado, I give you one of my favorite films, 12 Years a Slave. What? Uh -uh. Oh, Come on, man. Different kind of black suit. 